Oh, well, I'm glad you've turned up. We're in Somerset. Tucker's grave in. Right. Now we've come to see Az and Zoe from Hermanfest. And we'll hopefully we'll see them in a minute because it's the place is stuffed, it is rammed. Right, Tucker's grave in. Tucker was Edward Tucker. He was born sometime in the 1700s, but the main thing is he uh, he left to make his fortune, failed, came back penniless, thought, sold this for a game of soldiers, hung himself in a barn. And when you hung yourself, you weren't allowed to be buried in consecrated ground. So, they, they, they got together and said, look, we'll stick him in the, uh, stick him in the crossroads. So then his soul didn't know which way to go. So, so no, not only was he a tortured soul, but they placed him at a crossroads so he wouldn't know which way to go. Frankly, if, you know, once, if, once you're dead and your soul's got, it's either going up or down, I think left and right, and it's quite irrelevant, isn't it? Anyway, that's what happened. That was in 1747. No, not, not uh, quarter six. 1747, as in the year. Um, yeah, so that's why it took his grave. So somewhere around this crossroads, um, feasibly, he took us still here. Could be under this very campsite. And then again, he might not. I don't know, but this, this was built as a cottage in the 1700s, turned into a pub in 1825. Because uh, somebody thought they could. It's one of the it's only six bar. Sorry, um, <laughs> traffic's mad. There's only six uh, pubs in the country that doesn't actually have a bar, and this is one of them. Like so, hopefully, we'll try and get inside. <laughs> like we stood at the side of the M1. We'll try and get inside and get some pickies. Right, so let's give that a shot. Seventeen hundreds. That? That'll be somebody's front room. I thought, let's just let's have a pub. And it is. Right, so there's the front door. I can't. He used to, he used to work for Brendan. Excuse me, he has to serve from the window. This way, can't believe. And these prisoners started that company. Oh, they were men. And it. Take your off, sir. It's chaos, isn't it? The toilets were built on later, and then, to get more people in, they built a barn. Thank you. 
hits the road. We are actually on our Herman Fest this weekend and I just met Derek for the first time. <laughs> oh, there I am. <laughs> right, so there you go, that's um, you, you met ads now. The Zoe is inside. Zoe's hiding. Zoe's doing the washing up I think, or tidying up. Oh, I just she's doing to heaven, well done. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's in there hiding from See you in a bit. moment. Yeah, oh, I know got... Okay, that's Tucker's Grave Inn. Uh, it's a campsite in Somerset. Uh, well, Somerset's known for, um, um, oh yeah, cider. <laughs> um, it's been great. The, the, the inn's interesting. It's been lovely to meet Ads and Zoe. We've watched them for uh, quite a few years, so it's very nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Ads and Zoe. I hope you uh, travel safely home and hope to see you in the future. And the rest of you campers as well. So, I'm going to toggle off now because I need a shower. It's been another hot and sticky day. Uh, and Jugs is uh, ready for his bed. These little dinky lights don't bother the rubbish. Right, okay then. So it's been nice to see you all. I hope you're all staying well and dry, and it'll probably rain tomorrow because we're on our way home. Okay, um, oh yes, I forgot, I actually forgot to mention. Um, Jugs travelled down. <coughs> it's about 250 miles down to Southampton where we start. <coughs> Excuse me, we used to have our throat. Where we started our holidays in Southampton. Didn't miss a beat. It's been lovely. Did nothing to report whatsoever, and I, I hope <laughs> we'll have the same thing to report tomorrow. If not, you'll see us. You'll hear about it. <coughs> right, that's it. I'm off. Voice is gone. Don't get lost or squashed. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. That'll do, Jugs. That'll do. Oh, we're up. Good to see you. How's it going? Right, uh, yeah, just got back from uh, Somerset. Um, jugs are fine. Everything went swimmingly. It was great. Not a problem. Just discovered though, on arriving home, washer jets are blocked. So just give them a, give them a poke. 
Right, so you suppose you want some stats. Right, well, covered 702 miles and used 142 litres of fuel. Which works out, um, it's only a box box, I didn't fill up when I came back. But, it looks like an average of 22 to the gallon. Okay, that's depressing isn't it? So, people say to me, if you like American cars so much, why don't you get one? And I say, no, they're too economical and reliable. I need something to, something to play with. Yeah, anyway, so that's that. So we've got 22 to gallon. Um, it was great though. It was uh, superb. If you're ever in Southampton, I do recommend you go to the museum called Solent Sky. And it's basically a history of the flying boats from um, from Southampton and the Isle of Wight. And it's really interesting. And it's only a small museum, but it's absolutely packed with stuff. And the people, in, the curators, are really good. They're really knowledgeable. Know what they're talking about, and they're really friendly people. So, Soul in the Sky in Southampton, spot on. Um, there's a marina part which was quite nice. We had, uh, we had toasted something or other, can't remember now what. Then from there we toddled over to Sol. We stopped at Salisbury on the way to Frome. Had a look at Salisbury to Cathedral. <laughs> Salisbury Cathedral. That was great. Um, from there we got to Frome or Frome. I think it should be Froome really, there's only one O in it, if there was two O's it might would be Froome, but there's only one, so I'm going to call it Froome. So, I dare say that'll be controversial, but there you go, there you go. that's my opinion. Um, yeah, from where I went to Wells, we went to Glastonbury. You can smell the hippies in the car park. It's, um, it's, <laughs> it's interesting. But actually, Glastonbury, it's, it's years since I went and it was quite depressing, but now, it's, it's, all, it's, it's okay, it's a nice little spot. They're all happy people. Yeah, that's, that's fine, it's just a happy place. Not altogether ordinary, but it's a happy place, so that's okay. Um, yes, we got to meet Ads and Zoe from Herman Hits the Road, which was fun. And they took his grave in, that was superb. I can recommend that if you're in the area or if you're camping. Um, and then you toddle off home. The weather was good. There's only one nasty shower on the way down. That would be the Monday. Uh, we're coming out of a services somewhere and it started hearing. And it, it was like gunshots. And then it really settled it down. And then it went. It was only about five minutes and then it toddled off. Uh, so the weather was, um, it was warm and steamy. It was great. So that was our holiday holiday down south. Um, yes, can remember. I do recommend Solent Sky if you're ever in the area. Some parts of Southampton are quite um, run down. I think is the word. Uh, but other parts are um, they're okay. They've um, been sorted out. Now we saw some cruise ships and had an ice cream. You have to do it, don't you? Uh, yeah, now we're back. Um, <laughs> we're back. Um, Sonny in laws Vivaro, remember that? You know, they wouldn't start. Well, it, well, it started, but now it won't run probably because I think the alternator seized up. So there might be some uh, interesting vids on that. I've had a look underneath it this morning. It doesn't look good. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, I hope you all had a good week. Well, week off or week on or whatever you were doing. Just hope you had a good time. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for um, being there. And uh, yeah, don't get lost or squashed. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.